We invited Ibrahim Mogra, an imam from Leicester, to share his opinions on what matters. My name is Ibrahim Mogra. I'm an imam here in the city of Leicester. My duties are leading prayers and leading the community. The main concern that I want politicians to address is the negative portrayal of Muslims in our country. The most difficult issue for my community is the anti-terror legislation. We are made to feel like we are second-class citizens or we are the enemy within. And that is not a way of boosting our morale and our confidence in this country. We want to give our loyalty to this country. I'm prepared to lay my life down for this country, but I want to feel valued. I want the politicians, I want the British public to see me as an asset, not as a threat, not as an outsider. I'm beginning to feel like a foreigner in my own country. That is a real concern and a real fear for many of my congregation. I think this terror legislation, there hasn't been enough consultation. You know, I think they're seeing us as the enemy within. They don't realize that when you made the prayer in, in the mosque, you prayed for the entire uh, peace in the entire community. Indeed. You know, I think more and more people should be allowed to come in the mosque where they can see that it's not a breeding ground for terror, it's actually a breeding ground for peace. In the heart of Leicester, the Muslim community is very worried about events unfolding in Iraq, in Palestine and many other countries. As part of the Ummah, which is the brotherhood and sisterhood of Muslims globally, we feel their pain and their anguish. And we want to see our politicians do something serious to bring about peace with justice to all these troubled countries. On domestic issues, I'm concerned about education. I'd love to send my children to a Muslim school. But the funding system is such that Muslim schools are not funded by the state. Only a handful are whereas other faith schools are state-funded and they're able to raise the levels of education to a very, very high level. And I want to see the same to happen with Muslim schools. When we get together as a family, we have lots of things to talk about. For me personally, it's the NHS. I want the politicians to tackle the inequalities between the inner city areas and those living in the county. I want the same services available, so why should I suffer as a result of living in the inner city areas? I feel very strongly about education. I want more funding for schools so we can have better staff, better resources and a better future for our children. I feel very British and I'm proud to be British. I'm a Muslim. There's no contradiction. Britain is home. We love it. Diversity brings richness. It's not something to be fearful of, not something to be afraid of. But we can all benefit and enrich one another by taking what's best that other cultures have to offer us. I would like my children to have a future without fear. Without fear of being alienated, without fear of being seen as outsiders, but rather grow up being respected, being valued, being seen as an asset to society, people who can make this country a better place to live in.